Hi, uh, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Uh, today we will try to introduce uh, this wire harness. So this wire harness is for activating all the inactive speakers uh, present in your SL Plus car. If you have an SL Plus car, you, you, you probably know that uh, there are six speakers that is inactive. Uh, Tesla doesn't have any wiring to the, to the speaker. The A pillars speaker uh, the uh, treater here and the two rear shelf speaker behind the seat they are all inactive but if you have the car that is built after 2000, uh, 2020 March March 2020 then you don't have those two speaker but uh, this wire harness is actually helps to activate all the speaker uh, but it doesn't require adding an uh, amplifier so uh, the the idea basically is uh, it will get the signal from the dash speaker here and feed those signal to this two speaker and it also get the signal from the rear door uh, mid-range speaker and then feed those to the rear shelf speaker so uh, the advantage of this is uh, you can get uh, more sound from uh, you activate all the speakers so you get the sound from all the speaker uh of course there's a cons for for that um, the disadvantage is it is trying to get the signal from here and then it, it do a parallel connection with those speaker uh that actually reduce the the impedance of the load so um we test it uh, uh we test it to make it to high volume it seems okay but yeah, I think it's a, a pretty good mod uh, if you don't uh, uh, load up the volume all the time. Uh, we will do the testing later uh, to show you also. But let, let's try to get started and see how to install this. So I think the only tool that you need maybe is a flathead screwdriver. But uh, we're not sure. But yeah, we'll try to walk through, through the process. So the first thing is go to your passenger side. Uh, if you are, uh, have a, a right wheel drive car, uh, then it's on the left side. If you uh, have the left hand drive car, it's on the right side. So the passenger side always uh, behind the glove box. So let's try to remove these two pieces first. So to remove the top cover, it's just pull, pull it out. Yeah, just sneak your, uh, yeah, slip your finger inside and then pull it out. Yeah, and then you can see a push pin here. So we can pry it out, and then yeah. And then we can just take out cover. It's very easy to remove, actually. Yeah. So set this aside, and then we will need to remove the bottom part. So it's always just push pin in the in the passenger side. So so just pull out this kind of push pin. It's easy. Just there's a channel here. You can use your fingernail or use a flathead screwdriver to pry it out. Oh yeah, pry it down and then you can remove it. Yeah. So for right hand drive car, there are three of them. For left hand drive car, I think maybe four. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. So these are the three that I need to remove. Okay, so now I pull off the cover. So uh, yeah, it's better if you remove the light connector. So you can see uh, uh, behind the growth box, this is the computer. So try to look at the bottom right side. You can see this white connector. That is the speaker signal wire. So you unplug this plug first. And then after you unplug it uh, here, here is the wire pair we will connect into it. Yeah, so we will have all the signal wire that we have and then feed it out. Here is the plug. We just press it and pull out. The space is a little bit tight, so we we'll remove this cover as well. Uh, because you need to remove this cover anyway uh, later. So, so now plug into our wire. Okay and then plug this back into the ice computer so the next thing uh, we do is to go to the left side of the car if you, your ice uh, computer is on the right side you just run through this little hole here 
go the wire here this is the wire that you run to the left side so uh, a pair of the big connector with this one uh, the small one you go to the left side uh, so no matter if you have a right hand drive car or left hand drive car it's all, always on the left side so you can see this uh, blue plug uh, go ahead and unplug it and plug in into our connected pair and then this one goes to the treater here so here you can find this one uh, if there is a plug here just remove it this is the purple black one uh, remove it and then plug into uh, plug our own plug into here so so see here so we unplug this one set it aside and then plug this back okay so the 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 left side is done uh, so now we need to run this wire for the uh, right side uh, if, if you connect the ice computer in the right side you just plug it in the, in the same spot in the right side so but let me try to run this two pair of the wire no like this two wire go to the the other side of the car so to run it uh, we need to remove this cover uh, here just pull it off we'll show you how to pull it off uh, on the other side okay. so now we come to the other side of the door uh, of the car not for the door yeah so we just do the same thing remove this two thing yeah. let me put it here first so now remove this cover so this cover you can just take it out just put it put it yeah so you can find some clips remaining here, you can just push them back out. And then just set it back onto the cover. So yeah, so so now we can run the wire from to the other side. This is the hole that you need to run the, the wire from one side to the other. So now I'm running this to the right side. Uh, yeah, again, if you have a US car or Germany uh, or Europe car, then uh, this one is go to there. Uh, you just need to run those two pairs. Yeah, either way, you need to run the wire through this hole. So here, I will just run it here. Okay, so you don't need the fishing tape. Yeah, you see, it's very easy to run the wire. So now I got those. I can run behind the carpet here. Yeah, it's easier, uh, cleaner, I would say. So let me try to do it by my bare hand. So it's easier if you can uh, remove this clip first, so you can pull out this one easier. So now let me thread it, uh, run it behind, below this 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 carpet. Yeah. Uh, of course, here if you have a fishing tape, is is easier. But yeah, but uh, I can use my bare hand to do it. So now I grab the cable, I just run it here, yeah, so see? So this wire, now we go to, let me see, let me see, let me see, hold on. This spot, here, there's an idle spot here. So yeah, just plug it in. So now I've inserted it. So yeah. So now this is the only pair uh, we left uh, is for the rear shelf speaker. Uh, so we just run the wire along the the, the major wire uh, from the car. So now let me put the wire in the back seat. So we just tuck it along the floor. Here, so just tuck it in, tuck it in, yeah, and then go back to the back seat. So.
so here uh, I normally run here yeah uh, so I pull this out and then I run the wire to this side so I just then set it back yeah and then here is our destination so we need to remove this piece so yeah so so this is the piece that I need to remove so uh, this one is quite loose but yeah uh, you can see uh, there are some uh, it's where it's close is here here and also here here so yeah after you remove this yeah uh, and here is the plug uh, this is also where you check if you have the rear shell speaker if you found that your uh, let me remove this plug if you found that you only have like right now you have like one two six wires yeah if you only have two wires that means the two speaker uh, you don't have the rear two speaker so you cannot activate those unless you you install your own speaker but right this one is pretty much to uh, 2020 production car so we can do it yeah you can see there are six wires this should be good so we just connect the last connection pair back into here and the installation is done yeah so it only takes like 15 minutes for less than 15 minutes for experienced like installer and this can be a very easy DIY project uh, so then we will try to test the system so now basically we have fin finished the installation so try to load up some music and try to see if this speaker and the rear shell speaker is active um, so yeah you can try try yourself and if it works then yeah the, the whole installation is basically done and also you can try to test the fader so it should work as well yeah because uh, we are feeding the front uh, uh, front left speaker to the front left speaker and then the rear shelf is from the is from the rear door so the fader should work as well so basically that's it uh i would say it's a decent add-on if you have a sl plus and you don't load up uh, always like try to overload your system you should be good uh, but if you always turn the volume up uh, you need to test it a little bit uh, if you uh, hear any distortion then then maybe the your amplifier is overloaded um, but we have tested a little bit and it's it's okay yeah uh, but yeah, if you're an audiophile, uh, still adding an amp amplifier is the way to go. But if you just want to uh, enrich the sound in, in the car, uh, this is a pretty decent add-on. So and it's very is easy to install it, uh, install as well. A anyone can install it actually. Uh, it, it, uh, for a beginner, uh, inexperienced people, it might take an hour. But for an experienced people, it might take like fifteen minutes to install. Yeah. So I hope you like it. Uh, yes, uh, it will be available on our site to uh, to purchase. Uh, thank you for your interest. Yeah. Bye.